Hi, it's Sama, and today I want to show to you guys the NPC Intimacy minigame. So I've already shown that back in CBT2 I believe, so it's it's been a while, uh, but it hasn't changed since then, it's mostly the same. There was just some tweaks to the UI, uh, but I still recommend watching my previous video about it since it will be probably more in-depth than what I'm going to show right now. So I'm just going to focus on the game itself. Uh, but before we start, I actually want to point out a few basic things, just to, as a reminder. So in order to play this mini game, first you need uh, figure points, which are the points you can see here on the top left. I currently have 27 out of 28. So these points are used for a, a lot of different things, but for now let's just focus on the fact that you can use it for the, the mini game. And also I believe at level 1 you start with only 10 points. So this is something that people have been asking me. Uh, in order to increase the max amount of points, you need to gather knowledge. So if I press uh, H, here I have all the knowledge I've gathered. And you can actually check there is subcategories to each, uh, each part. Uh, so for example, this one is uh, Valenos uh, people. And here you can see there is more subcategories. And something you can notice here, it says uh, increase um, you can increase your uh, vigor points by max vigor points by two. You see here each value is two to two to two. Uh, so basically, if I gather all the knowledge in this particular particular category, I can increase my max amount of points by two. So here I'm only missing one uh, one knowledge in order to unlock it. And in blue here you can see the ones where I unlocked the two points. So th these categories here are filled completed. But that, that's how you increase it. Basically you have to gather as much knowledge as possible. And something also related to knowledge is uh, the topic the NPCs are interested in. Uh, so basically each NPC is interested in a different topic. So for example this NPC right here is interested in economics and this one in culture. Oh you have this one too. Uh, this one Heidel um, upper class. So this is also tied to the knowledge. If you have a knowledge that's um, the same that belongs to the same topic then you can use it for the minigame. So I could use eight of that knowledge for this guy, uh, seven with this guy and for this lady here I don't have enough enough about uh, enough knowledge about that topic so I can't actually play the minigame with her. So let's actually play around. Uh, actually not with this guy. He doesn't give any reward. What about this one? Uh, nah, two. You need a thousand intimacy for a reward. This NPC maybe? Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, so this NPC, let's see. What does she want to know about, talk about rather? I can't... Where is the circle? Okay, now. Uh, Serendia, which is the is, it's the country I am in right now. Uh, Serendia merchants. So we can actually play with her. I have enough uh, knowledge. So here you can see the current amount of intimacy I have. So I have one point, which means I haven't played the mini game at all with her. Uh, it's basically zero intimacy. And here you can see the different rewards. So this bar slowly fills up the more you you increase your intimacy with her. So uh, I, at 30 and 29 intimacy I can unlock the quest and the knowledge. And then at 500 intimacy I can unlock uh, more options at the shop. So I'm actually going to aim for the knowledge and the quest since 30 points should be easy to get. Uh, so here's the button you press to start the minigame. You can see it costs 2 points out of 28. So this seems to change depending on the NPC. Some NPC actually charge more uh, points. So let's get started. And here we are on the menu. Uh, so let's start with here. So here's the name of the NPC and here you have uh, different points. So this is uh, interest, amount of interest, amount of affinity, and here this is related to the minigame itself. So here I have uh, the mm, 
interest combos succeeded, uh, interest combo that failed. Here I have accumulated um, the amount of affinity points I accumulated and this is the max amount of affinity I've gotten. I think this is in a maybe one on, on one person I think, on one uh, turn rather. Let's call it turns. And well here's the same, it's the the, the clock, let's call it clock, with uh, the amount of intimacy I have with her. So something else also to notice that's very important is uh, right here, the main goal of this session. <laughs> so the way it works, here you can see there's slots. I have to put uh, those different pieces of knowledge which are people, merchants of the town. This is the topic she was interested in. So I have to put them in here and it will make turns so it will start with one here and the next turn it will go to that one and so on and so forth. And I get points while it's doing that. So my aim is to get as many points as possible si since it counts toward the max intimacy at the end. Uh, but I also need to keep in mind the main goal here because if I don't fulfill the main goal, uh, regardless of the amount of points I've collected, I will still fail. So the main goal here is to accumulate uh, 115 uh, affinity points, which are the red ones. So this is a very high value that I have to accumulate in order to succeed. And next, let's actually take a look at each piece of knowledge because they all have different stats. So you can see first uh, the interest, second the affinity, but what we really want to, to pay attention to are the, the middle box. So the first one is the um, basically the chance of proccing a combo. So we see 3%, it's rather low. And then under that there is uh, the points, the affinity affinity points I get from, um, from doing it. And um, from doing the combo, sorry. And the last part is uh, a combo effect that you can trigger if you succeed the combo. So this one doesn't have any, this one has an effect, so if the combo succeed uh, for the next turn, starting the next turn and for two turns I will get two extra points in, uh, in interest. So what I need to do here is actually to place each piece of uh, of knowledge in a position that will guarantee me to fulfill the main goal as well as gathering as many points as possible. So what I'll start first is looking for the ones that give the most combo, uh, the most chance of doing a combo. So here 100% but I don't get any points so this is not interesting. This is 48, it's too low, this could be okay, let's see if there is not anything better. Oh I have a lot of knowledge actually for this NPC. So we should be able to do it. So this one is pretty good. Let's take this one. And something that I nearly forgot to mention is the constellation. So this is, uh, if you remember, at the start of the game when you create your character, you have to pick a constellation. So this is where it uh, has an effect. Uh, basically, if the NPC has the same constellation as you do, you will get some uh, small bonuses, uh, bony, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, some small advantage. Uh, I don't really know exactly what the advantage are, uh, but this is this is the place you use uh, the constellation basically. I don't think it impacts it too much. So uh, as I said in the character creation video, uh, it's uh, just pick whatever constellation you like. So let's keep looking for this one. Is pretty good too. I might want to look for also a combo effect. Like this one, actually, I'm gonna place this small girl here, so it triggers an effect, and then I have to pick a last one. So something I've personally noticed is that on the last chain, um, the more you go in the chain, and uh, the more the chance of successfully doing a combo increase. So what I like to do is actually putting something that is a lot of points but with a low proc chance at the end because it feels like um, the proc, ch proc chance actually increases. But for this particular game, I don't think I need to risk it. Yeah, they gave a lot of points already. So let's try it. Let's hope I reach 115. 
So one combo, two combo, three combo, four combo, all combo succeeded. And how many did I reach? Oh yes, I did it. So I reached, uh, the goal was 115 uh, red points and I, I reached 121, so I did it. And at the end of the game, basically, they, um, they how to say it, they add your uh, interest points, amount of interest points that you gathered. And they also add the amount of uh, affinity. And then I think they divide by 10. So like uh, I got 40 points, you see here, in total. So I should be able to unlock the next two rewards. Uh, so here you have the choice to either keep going for free without consuming uh, points, vigor points, or you can just uh, get out of the game with the points you, you gathered. So I'll just do that and go out with my 40 points. And I have 41 points and I should be able to pick up a quest from her. Yes, as you see here, it unlocked the quest and it probably unlock knowledge too, right here. So it costs 3 vigor to unlock this knowledge, let's take it. Knowledge about flutes. And that's pretty much it. Let's try again. Oh wow, she put the horse right on top of it. Okay, let's try another one. So here I have to collect a max amount of um, 41 points in, uh, in affinity. So this value here, here it has to be 41. Let's see. Let's start with this one. It has a combo proc. This one is good too. This one. I think I'm using pretty much the same ones. So something I noticed is that the values for some of the knowledge uh, changes over time with the same NPC. So I don't know if it's related to the amount of points, uh, amount of times you used it, or if it's something else. Uh, but the value changes over time, so that's something to keep in mind. Always check. Also, well, you pick, you get to pick different knowledge for different NPCs, so it's not always the same stuff that you have to pick for other NPCs. Oh, I can zoom out the constellation, huh? I don't know what's it to use, uh, use of that, but whatever. So 41 points, I think I can easily do that. So I have 7, 23, yeah, already got that, so yeah. Easy. <laughs> so like I said, let's summarize a bit. You need to fulfill the main goal. And you need to gather as many points as possible since it counts towards your reward at the end. So here, 32 points, which is that plus that divided by 10. So now I have 73. Let's write again. Let's see how, how many kinds of different uh, goals we get. So I have to get accumulated amount of uh, 90 affinity points. So this is the value right here that, I, that you have to check. I, I need to go above 90. Let's take this one. Might as well this one. And for the last one, let's take something with a low percentage chance of proccing. Like this, 59, yeah, or actually even lower. Let's try to actually fail one combo CD effect, like 6%, this should totally fail. There's no way. What? Wow, 6% it actually succeeded. I'm so good. Welp. <laughs> Well, there we go, I actually, well, easily, I guess. But she seems to only give the same kind of goals. I kind of wish... Uh oh, now, this is the one I wanted, perfect. So this is the worst kind of goal you could ever get. So what they ask you is to actually fail. And I did say fail two combos. So this one is the worst, because failing the combo means you get less point. But you, you, you can't, you want to get as many points as possible to, to make it worth your, your time and your points. So this is like the hardest one, I would say. 
Uh, so let's see, we need to fail two combos and try to gather as many points as possible still. So we're just gonna start with the 3%. L let's go, balls deep, 3%. Let's find something low. 6%, let's go for it, bam, done. And uh, now, well, now we kind of have to try and uh, get some good ones so we get uh, a decent amount of points. Yeah, this one, let's go for that. Alright, let's do it. We need to fill two combos. One fail. No, what? That was 6%. Oh, this one failed. Perfect. Okay, all is fine. All is well. And there we go, well, 7 points, yeah, and this is the hardest goal, actually. Uh, this is the hardest one I've come, uh, I've, I've met in, in this game, since it's kind of hard to balance between failing the combos and getting as many points as possible. And my favorite one is actually the goal where it tells you to do whatever you want. You can just play switch ever you want, and usually you get a lot of points from that. But yeah, I think that covers it. Oh, let's try the last one, just for the road. Another fail, okay, I have to fill two combos. Let's go for the low percentage again. 6%. Same ones, I guess. Let's hope this end well. Uh, Alright, let's go with this lady here, or girl, I don't know. Alright, fail the first, fail the second, and now please succeed, yes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's too many fails, so I'm gonna get like... one point, four points, four points. So, yeah, this is the worst goal ever. <laughs> but I think that's it, that covers it, so... Thanks for watching and oh yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you have a lot of presents, you get a lot of presents and eat a lot of good food. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.